Hi, Michelle Seitz here. You're watching Table of Contents, List of Tables, and List of Figures. Here's the scenario. You have a document with numbered headings, some tables, and some figures. And you need to add a Table of Contents, List of Tables, and List of Figures. Watch this video to learn how to do this. If you watched the captions and heading numbering videos, you saw how we created captions and added heading numbering to our documents. This document is similar in that it contains numbered headings, tables, and figures. The first thing we want to do when we want to display a table of contents is place our cursor in the document where you would like the table of contents to be displayed. I want mine at the top, so my cursor is placed at the top of the document. Now go to the Insert tab, select Reference, Index and Tables. Now the Index and Tables dialog box is displayed. Click on the Table of Contents tab. In the Print Preview, there are four levels that will be displayed in our Table of Contents. If you need to adjust the number of levels, you would use these up and down arrows. If you want fewer levels, choose the bottom arrow. If you want more levels, choose the top arrow. There's also a show page numbers and write align page numbers. Since I want my page numbers to be displayed and I also want them right aligned, I'm going to leave these checkboxes checked. There's also a tab leader. It will display one of three types of leaders, a dot leader, a dash leader, or an underscore leader. I want a dot leader for my table of contents, so I will select the dot leader. There are also some predefined formats. Click this down arrow, and you'll see a classic format, a distinctive format, a fancy format, modern format, a formal format, and a simple format. But I'm defining my own format. There are also two buttons called Options and Modify. In the Options button, you can see that heading 1, 2, 3, and 4 have a check mark next to them meaning those styles will be displayed in our table of contents. There is also a field called TOC level. You can see heading one has TOC level one, heading two has TOC level two, and so on. As you scroll down, you can see there are other styles available. Since there is a title in our document, and I would like it to be displayed at level one. I'll go in this field and I'll enter number one. It adds a check mark next to the word title. So I know the style's title will be included in my table of contents. After you have selected all the styles you want in the TOC, click OK. Now we have the Modify button. The Modify button will allow you to add specific characteristics to each level of the TOC. In order to change or modify each level, highlight the level, select Modify. In this TOC level, I want mine Times New Roman. I want it 14 point. I also want it bold and an automatic font color. I also want to click on the format button and I'll show you what I did in the font. I want my TOC level one to be all caps. So I checked this box and I clicked OK. Next, I went back into format and I clicked on paragraph and I adjusted the spacing before and after. I made it three points before and three points after. 
my alignment is left at zero and I had a hanging indent at 0.5 just in case my text wraps to the next line and then I clicked OK and I clicked OK again. Next I modified TOC 2, 3 and 4 gave it all the characteristics I wanted and then I clicked OK. And our table of contents is displayed in our document. Now let's create a list of tables. So go back into insert, reference, index and tables. Now click on table of figures. In the caption label, select table I'm going to leave everything else defaulted and say OK. Now your list of tables is added to your document. I'm going to hit the Enter key and I'm going to go back into Insert, Reference, Index and Tables. And I want the caption label to say Figure and say OK. You may want your TOC, List of Tables and List of Figures to have a title. So for instance, at the top of my document, I may want this to say table of contents. So here I'll open up the styles and formatting dialog box. And I'll select a style called title. And I'm going to type in table of contents. I'm going to do the same thing for my list of tables and my list of figures. Now when I go back into the table of contents and I right click and say update field, say update entire table, since my table of contents list of tables and list of figures are in the title style, they will be added to the table of contents. And that is the end of this lesson. Table of contents, list of tables, and list of figures.